If you're in class 11th or 12th and have a PCB background, I bet someone must have asked you to prepare for NEET examination way before you actually entered in 11th and decided to take biology. But I challenge you, you must not have been told about these examinations that we are going to discuss in this video. And primarily, what if I tell you that you can study in world-class institutes in India with world-class facilities that can take you places across the world with very minimal fees, scholarships and a bright career ahead. That too with a PCB background. Okay, that is possible. If you want to know more about that, then definitely stay with us till the end because I have a special guest for you in this video. I'm talking about none other than ISER aptitude test. So we will start with that. And of course, leading up to other segments, ISER aptitude test is for admissions into ISERs across the country, Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research. Uh, needless to say, they are based in Pune, Mohali, Bhopal, Kolkata, Trivandrum, Tirupati and Barhampur. Apart from that, you get admission in one of the world's top research university and, and India's number one university ranked by Nature Index, IISC Bangalore, Indian Institute of Science. Of course, you, if you have a PCMB or PCM background, apart from that, you also get IIT Madras and IIT Guwahati, of course, with PCMB background. So in case you're preparing for NEET, all these options are available for you, okay? Why to miss this? That is our point if you're preparing for NEET anyways. And to clarify more about it, how can you do that? Why is it important for you? And what other things you need to do apart from your NEET preparation is what we are going to discuss with your favorite and biology mentor at Sayastra, Akash Bhaiya. So please help me welcome him. And uh, thank you very much, Akash Bhaiya, for joining us today. So we'll be talking in brief about IAT and mm -hmm. a couple of other examinations for PCB students who are watching us mm -hmm. here today, right? And my first question to you would be, apart from your busy schedule, what actually uh, made you come in this video and talk about ISER aptitude test and other examinations? Actually, there is a story behind it. One of my students uh, was preparing for NEET exam and she was also preparing simultaneously for IAT exam. Mm -hmm. Unluckily, her NEET exam don't go well. Okay. But she got very good marks in IAT exam and now she is in topmost research institute that is ISC Bangalore. So that's why I am here. I want to aware many other students who are brainwashed and who don't know about these career options. Yeah, I, I guess uh, she had a co phone call with you yes, and the other yes, mentors. Yes, yes. We had a phone call and it was her idea only to aware more students who are basically preparing for NEET so that they can get aware and they can pursue these uh, colleges and career options also. Awesome. So had she not known about IAS, ISER aptitude test or not appearing for IAT apart from NEET, she would be taking another drop? Yes, yes, yes. Guys, option. yes, mm -hmm. guys, there are 23, 4 lakhs plus students appearing in NEET every single year for less than 50,000 government seats. Okay. And for those who don't make it to a government medical college, they most probably take another drop year in the hope of getting a seat in the subsequent year. Right. So this is a situation that needs to change. And of course, we are here to aware these students. Yeah. Right. And uh, whatever we can do our bit that would be, you know, very good for us. And uh, my next question to you would be, Bhaiya, since you mentioned about ISER attitude test and need, mm -hmm. is there any similarity between these two examinations? How can we tell these students to appear for IAT? Okay, that is the point. That mm -hmm. is the point. NEET exam, JE exam, and IAT exam. Syllabus for all these exams are yeah. the same. It is basically 11th and 12th syllabus. Just the difference in JE is that it do not include biology yeah. and in NEET it do not include maths. Yeah. But all in all the syllabus is same. Syllabus is same. And that is your 11th and 12th NCRT syllabus. Okay. And any difference in the difficulty level in the, in the questions of these two since you are from biology. Mm -hmm. So can you talk about biology like how different are the questions? Yes. Though the syllabus is same, but the kind of approach is different. Like oh. in NEET exam, we actually get questions which are very straightforward. Like if I try to show you, yep. 
here is a question of need 2025 this year only they are asking about the process of respiration basically electron transport chain and they have just asked a one liner question very simple question i think the answer is second succinic dehydrogenase but from the very same concept iat this year only they asked a very lengthy question which needs a bit of understanding and it needs a type of research based approach okay next one more question I have got for you. This is a question for PCR. One is asked in NEET and one is asked in IAT. They have asked a very simple question related to the formula that is applied in PCR. They have also used the same formula which is 2 to the power n in IAT. But you can see from the length also you can see the type of question. And if you will read these both questions you will find that the kind of approach they are trying to inculcate in you is different in both these things and i am sure that many of the need students have to have left this question why because it is not mentioned in ncrt i have seen many need students that they only follow ncrt and a little bit tweak leads them to leave this question okay but it is a very basic question okay and from this formula only they have just tried to give you a context and they actually tried you to apply this formula to get to the answer okay so the thing that I want to tell you is that syllabus is same, concepts are same, but what's approaching these two exams are different. And that's really a wonderful insight, Bia. Thank you very much for that. It really shows if you can solve this question that has appeared in NEET with some little more practice and yes. strategical changes, mm -hmm. they can also solve this question. Yes, that's what I'm saying. The formula is same. Yeah. Of course, they cannot do it if they are reading this question for the very first time. Yes. But with some guidance, mm -hmm. some mentorship, some practice sessions, they can solve these questions. Of course. Right? And they can get into top colleges across India. Of course, we that is the outcome we are not talking about right now. That is the whole point. Right? And uh, my next question is basically following up on this. Mm -hmm. Two things that uh, how, you know, NEET is at, you know, some certain level mm -hmm. and IAT is some, you know, beyond that. Mm -hmm. uh, a little more, more advanced, needs more practice, that is for sure. Formula is same. Mm -hmm. It means that these questions, students should definitely not leave, mm -hmm. right? And that is my question that how can they gap, you know, bridge this uh, small gap that is there between IAT and NEET and what are the other things like is there any additional subject in IIT or other stuff and how are you helping those students actually talking about subject first in need they actually ask question from PCB background okay physics chemistry biology they ask question from that in JE they ask question from PCM that is physics chemistry maths yeah. but in IIT there is no such barrier yeah they ask question from all the four subjects physics chemistry maths and biology so for PCB student they have to study maths as an extra subject mm -hmm. and for PCM student they have to study bio as an extra subject yeah. and how we are helping them we have been teaching many of the students who are preparing for IIT exams even if they have PCM or PCB yeah. background and they are given extra care on other subjects so that they can prepare and get good ranks in such exams. So it means you and other SASTA mentors are basically helping in physics, chemistry, maths, bio all four subjects. Yes. I think this is the first any kind of uh, community you know, mentorship program that mm -hmm. is helping students in all four subjects. So basically, they can appear in NEET, they can appear in IIT, J, and you know, all these examinations. Of course. Right? And uh, guys, if you want to prepare with hundreds and thousands of students along with you, and you're serious about your preparation, then the description has the links for Kalam batch. Okay, Kalam is the batch where you can actually prepare for IAT and NEST and other examinations like JE NEET as well. That is really helpful for hundreds of students and uh, you can be the next. Okay, so get in touch with us if you are looking forward to that. But my next question, Bhaiya, that uh, are you also providing anything for free, like any mocks or something like that? Yes, actually, if you are asking for free materials, we have two such things. First one is our YouTube uh, videos. Okay, we have given many of the content related things. Okay, like before IAT this year, we took lots of sessions of different chapters. So we have provided many of the one shot videos of different chapters in all the subjects, physics, chemistry, maths and bio. Awesome. Okay, so you can check out that in our YouTube videos. And also uh, in the Syestra app, mm -hmm. we have given, I think some of the notes, lecture notes yeah. and some free videos also are given yeah. there. So that's really nice. Like there are free videos, there are some revision notes, there are some 
free mock tests as well. Yes, so yes. students can really take advantage of that. You can actually assess the level of Pfizer aptitude test by using those mock tests, mm -hmm. right? And you can see where you are in your preparation. If you're anyways preparing for NEET and other examinations, you can just make a switch and uh, come here and test yourself and prepare, you know? And who knows, uh, you're going to be at ISC Bangalore or any other top research institute. By the way, uh, that reminded me of how many students have you sent to ISC Bangalore so far? So I don't have the exact data, yeah. but as far as I know, the last time when I checked, there were 20 plus students who were admitted Whoa. in ISC Bangalore. So there are about 94 seats via ISA aptitude test in ISC Bangalore. And out of that, 20 plus students have gone from Sayasta and they have studied from you, right? And I was recently reading that there were lots of PCM students who were able to do biology right just uh, by attending your lectures mm -hmm. and uh, you know this the, the guidance that you gave them that's really really amazing Bhaiya, thank you very much and uh, so this was about Iser aptitude test are there any other examinations that uh, these guys can also appear in okay apart from iat you can give nest also mm -hmm. from which you get admission in nizer and cebs you're from nizer yes you are also from <laughs> nizer <laughs> and you can also give upsc exam from which you get admission in IACS colleges. You can also check other types of exam, like the exams from which you get admission in paramedical courses, mm -hmm. pharmacy, and all these things. And they are also very reputed at times. Yes, they are very reputed and they have lots of money in it. So let's not also forget about uh, CUET, paramedical, CUET, nursing. Param nursing, yeah. pharmacy. Yeah, and of course, IAT, NES, NEET. These exams are always anyways there. Right. So our point of uh, sharing with you these things is since somebody of you know your age group shared her journey with Akash Bhaiya, she was very emotional, right? So it was our moral responsibility to share the same things to help you aware yourself, right? And uh, in case we are able to aware even one student through this video, our job is done. Yes. Would you agree to this? And uh, thank you very much, Bhaiya. We all know and agree that you are doing a great job by, you know, helping the students get into top-notch research institutes of the country. And uh, please continue doing that. By the way, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. And guys, if you want to see Akash Bhaiya more and more often on this channel, please let me know in the comments. Okay, we'll try to bring him uh, more frequently and uh, help you out. Okay, but with that, uh, Akash Bhaiya, would you like to say something to them? I would just like to say all the best to them. And may they have a very good journey this year. Yeah. And they end up getting in their dream institutes. Wow. Awesome. Guys, uh, if you have made it here so far in this video, please put a subscribe and a like. It means a lot to us, right? And till then, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. All the best. Mm -hmm.